Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial and today we will continue create uh, this building in Philadelphia um, tiny building uh, so let's go let's go back to the our Revit and let's create how I said before uh, today we will create uh, all uh, all things in inside this building so I'm we will start I mean from the flooring let's go to the first level and we will start from the first level uh, first level, our actually our first floor. This is basement floor. Uh, let's rename it right now. Uh, basement. So because it's confusing, and I don't want to make it confused you and me. So and now we will call this one. Actually, uh, we will make it on the east view. This is will be more better. Level one. Level two. And let's continue. Level 3, level 4, and level, let's label it like our roof. Now let's go back to the basement floor. So we here we are, and our basement floor actually uh, going on on this side too. But we will create it like this. Uh, let's go to the basement, let's choose the floor, and let's create it from the middle of the wall like this and till here okay let's uh let me think just few seconds let me think one more second uh yes we will do like that and let's create one more floor again same thing like this and let's say okay so what we did we did two different floors uh, because actually here it's a balcony something like balcony uh, <laughs> basement balcony and here we will use different materials uh, I mean the later on but here it's already inside I mean the uh, what we are using inside of the, in our building here we will use also the same uh, some different material and what will I will do here actually I need to divide material too uh, we need divide material so let's do it uh, what we need split faces and let's split it maybe like this like this and like this let's say okay so as you can see we split faces now we can use different material on this side and this side because here it's toilet that's why we want to use different materials maybe later on we will create here the different floor but we will see later on as i said uh, let's go to the first level uh, with our first level uh, missing missing view oh it's here sorry my wrong uh, my first level here and let's go to the architecture and we will do the same with floor floor from the middle to this part let's say okay let's say okay uh, ta -ta -ta -ta. let's say no if uh, Revit is asking you do you wanna um, do you want to join your wall and your floor say no not in this moment let's do the same thing with the other levels and you will find here some strange things you architects you know what it mean it means the gap let's do like this let's say okay again no so and now i will just continue to the other levels let's con copy to the level this is three and now i need level three let's go to the view uh plans and let's find our level three it's here and what is going on here actually as you can see this is so tiny let's check it out it's 300 only let's make it 300 only so it looks like that let's say no again let's check one more thing so we can co copy it on the next level to the level 4 and we will copy it to the level 5 too I mean to the level R so let's go now to the 3D actually we can use 3D we can use the uh, not 3D up to you only so and as you see what we get here the, so this is level R 
it is terrible let's say zero now i think okay let's go to the edit boundary yes we can do it in uh, 3d too if you don't know and let's say like this so we get our building i mean we are already uh going on the right side so let's go back to the some um, level maybe level two i want to see what's going on here as you can see here it's we really have something like garden but here it's something like something <laughs> let's go to the first level where is my floor let's find our floor on the first level oh yes because i want to see my is my floor here is my floor and i should change the boundary of this floor like this let's leave it like that okay and here it's uh, also on the level two we should create one more floor like this and we need the walls let's use the same walls i will just copy it like this create the similar and let's do it just we will do like this right now and all these walls will be unconnected and only 900 millimeters let's go now to 3d and now i will align it and here i will align it so <laughs> now we get on the 100 percent uh, our building looks like uh, this one but it's not for i mean uh, we are just on the way we did only the body of this building we should create now for example these walls these walls and after that we will switch to the facade and after that we from the facade we will switch to the um to the, our staircase so let's get uh, let's continue so now we will switch to the um, from the basement level to the first level let's do it so here the first level and on the first level oh, we have here the entrance and window uh, i will show you right now so here the win here the uh, door and here the window as you can see on the two floors so is if we want to use on the two floors i will use um curtain wall let's go here and let's find the curtain wall here let's place the curtain wall like this oh, oh this is not right curtain wall sorry we will use the storefront now i will use command align let's align it like this and this is approximately here I will change the size to one, 1200. Let's go to 3D. And as you can see, it's going from the level one. Let's change the view to this one. Now I want to see where is my, my window. It's a bit, sometimes it's a bit hard to take this window. Uh, so, and to the level three. Mm -hmm. Let's check it out again so yeah it's to the level three maybe a bit smaller so let's make it a bit smaller or we will make top of set uh, minus uh, minus 200 millimeters and base of set we will say because it's not going from the this side it's 900 millimeters or maybe 1200 so we will do 1200 yeah this is much better 1200 so what we're gonna do now i want to change uh this thing just by tab key oh my god it's sometimes it's really hard just i want this line okay everything here okay but i want to change these lines 
Oh, I forgot about that. Okay, I just unpin and do it. Let's change the type from the maximum space to the uh, to the none because I want to control by myself. Uh, let's delete all grids and let's delete these grids too. So as you can see now, I don't have any grids and let's check it out what's going on here. Uh, I have grids between door and uh, and the window. So between door, let's place some the door to make it right. And let's make the curtain grid between the door and window. Let's say it will be like this. Uh, now I want to align it. So let's align it. I will delete now this modem because I cannot see properly what's going on here. And let's align it. Okay. Now everything okay here. I will delete here the mullion too. And here I will make 850 only. Let's do like this. No, it's too much actually. Let's make the 500. So this is what I want, I think. Let's check it out. Uh, kind of, kind of, kind of what I want. Actually, no, <laughs> it's not what I want. Actually, this floor is a bit bigger. Let's change like this. And yes, this is near what I want. Let's go to the mullion and let's place mullion here. And we will change this panel to the uh, solid one or maybe to the some generic wall. Let's do like this. If we will go now to the shaded one, you can see we are trying to copy it. Let's go here. Yes, and it's a bit smaller than I did. <laughs> Let's make it smaller. Okay, it's something like that. Minus 2008. Or we can make like this. 400 millimeters. 800 millimeters. Yeah, this is much better. So we have one window here. Let's check it out. Even actually, even now I did wrong. It looks like I did wrong. So we, we can do like this. And other window will be on this side. So I will copy this window to the level 3. Now it's too much. Uh, to the level 2. To the level 2. Here. Let's make the same thing. It's going till here. Yes, and uh, after that is going till the end. Till the end. Till here. And let's move it. I will do it on the first level. Or maybe on level 3. Let's move it. Let's go back to 3D. It's different thickness. This is more looks like. Yes, we under finish. Uh, let's put one curtain wall here. And let's change this panel also to the some generic model. Let's say 250 and we will change later on. So we are, yeah, we are near to be right. I will delete this modern because we don't need it right now. Okay, this is looks like I want, and I will delete this modern. 
like this. Hold on. Okay. So as I said, it looks simple, but when you're starting to do it, it's not really so simple. Anyway, we will finish this project. I will do it by by part. You will understand all the process. Uh, you will uh, see how you can create the building. Yeah, I understand you want action, you want Zaha Hadid, but we will create some building so useful to your work. Uh, if you have questions, don't forget to leave the comment. If you have some suggestions and uh, or you want to ask something, also leave the comment and I will try to answer in, on the next video. So, but uh, for now it's finished. Uh, for the next, as I said, we will uh, continue to develop this model and I think we will finish like in, uh, I think, into video more and we will finish we'll see so thank you for watching and see you next time and that's it from today thank you guys for watching don't forget to subscribe my social media leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time